Hello everybody, I'm Warner Chavez, SQL Server MCM with SQLTurbo.com and today we're going to go through a new video in our series of Microsoft BI for 2015. And uh, the topic for today is a really cool topic, it's the new Power BI iOS mobile apps. I have my iPhone here with me, I also have an iPad uh, to show the apps. And uh, really, this, uh, this, uh, you know, having apps on all these other different devices that are not Windows phones, are just, it's just another part of how Microsoft has a new cross-platform strategy, very different from the Microsoft from the past. Uh, we have like Office apps on iOS. Uh, we have these new Power BI apps on iOS. We have um, Microsoft employees doing contributions to many open source projects. We have all types of open source platforms running on Microsoft's Azure cloud. Uh, and even the Microsoft Fitness Band is completely multi-platform uh, and works with any type of phone. So very cool stuff. Let's just go right in and I'll show you guys what Power BI dashboards look like on your mobile devices. So as you guys can see, I have my phone here synced to my screen, so you'll be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to tap here and show you guys the home screen. So that's what the home screen looks like. It'll show you your dashboards, and you can go from one to the other. I'm going to go into this retail analysis one. And then first thing you're going to notice is that it's not like the canvas style view that you would get on the website. This is streamlined for mobile consumption. So it's really just a column of tiles. And then each tile, I'll go into each one in the video so you guys will be able to see what each one uh, looks like and how each one you can interact with them. So let's just go and just show you guys what a actual number one looks like. So uh, not really interactive there, it just gives you the number. but the cool thing you can do with number tiles is you can hit this bell here at the top you can actually set up alerts so for example these are the number of stores that a company has and then let's say we're at 104 stores and if we go over 107 stores then we need to revise our forecast for the year or we need to implement you know a new hiring plan to get more people for the new stores so very cool you can attach an alert uh, and a threshold to go uh, if you know, to get a notification if it goes above a certain value or if it drops below a certain value. And um, and you would get them in real time. Like when Power BI would refresh the data and this particular number would be recalculated, you would get the notification in real time on your phone. So really cool, any type of knowledge worker that is working with Power BI, any number that they're interested in and they want to track it, they would be able to come in, set up an above or below uh, threshold and alert, and they don't have to remember about it. They can just uh, be notified proactively by the service uh, when the change happens. So very cool no, uh, functionality, you know, it keeps you connected to your data all the time without you having to remember uh, what were those key uh, number points that you wanted to keep track of. So uh, that's really the main thing you can do with the numbers, but it's still, like I said, it's powerful functionality. So you, you stay always connected to uh, the important numbers from your business. Uh, I'll show you guys what the pie chart looks like. So you do get some interactivity here, as you guys can see. I can just go from uh, one slice to the other, and it'll give us uh, the numbers for that particular slice. Uh, every tile also has the camera, so I can take a picture, for example, of a data point or a visualization that I find interesting that I want to share, and just integrate it on the app. I can just, you know, message it uh, to, let's say, a coworker or a colleague that I want to discuss uh, the image with. Um, so let's keep going down. And let's see, for example, the line chart. These are interactive as well. I can go to any point in the axis and get the actual data point values there. You guys can see it refreshes there at the top. Let's move over to the scatter chart. So this is similar as well. It allows me to go into each one of the circles and it'll refresh the label and the numerical values at the top. And the same thing with the bar charts. I can just, you know, move this uh, this pointer here and get the different numerical values uh, associated with each bar. Okay. Now I'm going to show you guys what the maps look like. So I can go into the map, and it actually supports pinching. So I can zoom in, for example, to here to Columbus. Um, the problem, though, with the maps is that right now, if let's say, for example, I wanna, I'm interested in that circle next to Mansfield. If I try to tap it, it doesn't do anything. 
So even though the map itself is interactive with pinching for uh, zoom in and zoom out, the circles don't show the numerical values. Now I'm sure they are probably working on fixing that. Um, the good thing about these apps is that their release schedule can be a lot more aggressive so they can be fixing bugs and throwing new functionality all the time because really it's just you know you get a notification saying there's an, an app update available you update it and that's it right it's not like a long release cycle like let's say for example for Excel right so so I'm sure they'll fix that but for now yeah there's zoom in there's zoom out but if you tap on the circle it doesn't show the number so that's uh, that's the limited functionality there with the maps at the moment, and that's pretty much what the what the the phone uh, app looks like and how you work with it. It's not really complicated. You may I would say most of the editing is just done on the Power BI interface. You would do it uh, with Excel or with the new Power BI designer, and then once you have your dashboards online, would you would just consume them when you're on the go traveling with uh, your phone or with your iPad. So. Uh, I'm going to stop sharing my phone now so that I can show you guys what the iPad uh, looks like compared to the phone. So, I'm going to start sharing uh, my iPad now. There we go. Okay, and I'm gonna go into the Power BI app. As you guys can see, I have the two dashboards, same as I had on my phone. Uh, the big difference here is that if I go into one of them, it does have that canvas view, which makes sense because the iPad has more screen real estate, right? It's not like a small screen of a phone, so we can actually see it more, uh, more in tune with like the way you would see it on the web page for Power BI, right? Um, now if I go to the pie chart for example, I not only get the interactivity I got before with the phone as well, but the cool thing about the iPad is that because of you know the extra computing power of an iPad as well, I can actually go and open the report at uh, the full report um, that I would see on the Power BI website. And uh, I get even the multiple pages so I can see the different pages of the report. And the report itself is not only just you know looking at it and reading it, but it's also interactive, similar to how it would be on the website. For example, I can go into the pie chart at the top and just filter by the chain that I'm interested in. As you guys can see, the visualizations are linked just like how they are online as well. And uh, you can go back and forth into each one of them. I can go, for example, here to the scatter chart and I can see, uh, just tap to see the month of May or I want to see what the numbers were in March and then go back to July and again like I said uh, the visualization is stay synced uh, I can go into the different pages of the report and they remain interactive like I can click on just one of these values and we'll see the entire thing refresh on the iPad screen right so the visualization aspect is a lot uh, richer on the iPad which makes sense like I said increased uh, computation value uh, for uh, for the iPad they're more powerful machines but also you have the bigger screen right this would be really hard to do on the phone just because we don't get that canvas view right the phone is uh, more for the consumption of the specific tiles in the dashboard and on the iPad you can actually consume not only the dashboard you can consume uh, the entire report right so you can get again a more uh, rich uh, experience you can actually have pretty much almost the full power view uh, functionality um, for for the reports and again everything is um, it's synced right so they're completely linked reports so you can touch them and play around with the numbers uh, just like you would on the power bi interface okay and that's uh, the only thing oh the only thing I want to mention too is uh, the iPad if you guys see here at the bottom it doesn't have alerts yet, but I've, I've uh, brought it up to some of the, our folks, uh, friends at Microsoft, and they uh, they assured me that the alerts are coming to the iPad version. So you'll be able to have uh, pretty much the same alert set up, either if you're using the iPad or you're using the iPhone, the alerts will be synced and you will get an alert regardless of the device you're on. But for now, it's still coming up on the iPad, okay? All right.
So let's just uh, jump back to my uh, PowerPoint and we'll just do our recap. So really cool native iPad and iPhone iOS apps. The iPhone version is optimized for quick browsing. You guys could see it is mostly about one column of tiles and you want to move up and down. Uh, it's missing some interactivity. I showed you guys for example on the maps the circles yet they are not interactive but I'm sure they're gonna fix that. Um, it's really cool to have the mobile alerts on your data on the iPhone version right now but they are going to be adding it on the iPad version as well so pretty much the experience will be uh, interchangeable between the iPhone and the iPad with the difference that the iPad will give you the richer drill down to the full reports that you don't get on the iPhone okay that makes sense like I said the iPad is a more powerful device it's a device with a bigger screen so it's easier not only to display and process the reports but also to get the full view of the reports in one screen uh, and the last thing to notice is that these both of these apps they have full backing from Microsoft they are doing uh, aggressive release schedules for them so there's uh, there's really um, no worry that suddenly they're just going to abandon these apps and they're not going to stop uh, they're going to stop developing for them if you have power bi there is no reason why not uh, to adopt them if you have a windows phone uh, they're already there if you have an ios phone well now they're there again if you're a power bi user you should definitely give them a shot and uh, eventually they'll be coming out for android as well so thanks for watching uh, and we'll continue with our Microsoft BI 2015 series very soon again. Thank you.